They went 20 0 during the regular season. Now Wayland begins the playoffs with a great big target on its back. District action begins tonight. The Wildcats found themselves face to face against one of the biggest rivals, Wayland Caledonia. This turned into a real battle. Baseline three, Zach Casper, Wayland up by 11. Then Chase Burgess out to Weston Hudson. He buries that one. Wayland up 14 38. 48-34, looked like they cruised, but Caledonia comes back and would eventually tie it. Steven Spencer for three. With a minute and a half to play, this guy was this game was 55 all, but Whalen hit six great free throws in the final minute, and they survived 61 to 57. The other game at Kentwood pitted host Falcons against Grand Rapids Christian. Late first quarter, 3.3 to play. Eagles on the inbound. Jevin Hardley picks up and beats the buzzer. Christian led 13-6 after one. They were up by seven at the half, but East Kentwood battled back. Jeremiah Williams scoops and scores. They cut that lead to two. But Alex Mustard, baseline drive. He had 13. Christian wins it 50 to 42. In Portage, third-ranked Kalamazoo Central looking to make it back-to-back -back trips to the Breslin. Maroon Giants Road began with Benton Harbor. Off the miss. Case Central on the run. Terry Buchanan, he's going to go in strong. Maroon Giants up by 13. And check out the sweet touch pass by Angelo Griffiths. Nice right to Darius Norman. Case Central wins it 64 to 48. Next stop, Zealand, where a couple of OK Red opponents open district play against each other. Granville and West Ottawa. Inside, that's Terrence Harris. Wins the battle for the ball. And the Bulldogs were up by one with the game tied at 43. West Ottawa holds on. Last second shot. Grant Neal leans and hits. And West Ottawa wins a thriller 46 to 43. Also from Class A, Cedar Springs at Kennewa Hills. Second half action. Stephen Thompson in the lane and hits. Kennewa still looking for its first win was up 27-22. Cedar Springs regroups. Seth Cotton, he's going to score from three. Cedar Springs wins it 54 to 43. And in Class B, big things expected out of East Grand Rapids this season. Pioneers get a clean slate now after a rough start. Opened against Forest Hills Northern. That's Colin Voss with the two-hand hammer. Opened the game on an 11-4 run. Then Voss. Kicks out to A.J. McEwen for the three. East Grand Rapids wins it 57-42. The college ranks big 